Hello, hello. Welcome back for Tech Tip Tuesday. I'm Rihanna. I'm Brooke. And we have some really great stuff for you today. But first, we have a few questions for you. Have you ever maybe lost email? A couple times. Are you super unorganized? Yes. Or are you just OCD like me and you like color and everything in its own little place and you can find it really easily because it's organized in your OCD like that? Well, we have a product for you. For you. You're going to love this. Yes, yes, you will. you will. So today we're going to show you how to make labels and priority inbox to get rid of all this clutter in your email, just like Brooks. So right now, Brooke has everything um unorganized all her unread emails mixed in with her red email and then she has labels which are the color-coded thingies and they're just kind of all over the place and they're really hard to find and so every time she wants to find an email she has to do a little search thing and it just takes forever so we're going to show you how to organize this make it really easy for you and you're going to love it so step one step one press the gear we're creating a label yeah and press settings and labels now here you can turn off the ones that they already have. You can turn them on if you don't currently use them. Or if you go below, you can see all kinds of different labels. There's a lot there that Brooke has. I don't have that many. I only use like one or two, um, but you can have a lot if you want to. So this is how you do it. Press create new label and you're going to title it to do. I title mine to do list because these are all the things that I need to, to do. And Brooke titles hers follow up. So you can put it underneath another label. We're not going to do that. Eh. Follow up. 21,500. Create. Now it created a new label below. She has follow up 21 right there. She can turn it on, turn it off, whatever she needs to do. So now that she has a way to organize these into sections, she's going to create for step two, a priority inbox. So go to inbox. And right now your inbox is set as default. If you click on default, we don't want that. It's just kind of everywhere. Go to priority. These will make sections and keep it all together. Really nice and neat. Oh yeah. So the first section is unread. This is everything that you have never, 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 ever opened before. Um, even from two years ago. And you'll see Brooke has something from July in there. It has never been opened yet. Sorry. Uh, the next thing you're going to want to do is, oh, and you can have up to four sections. Um, you can choose how many emails you see in unread um, at a time. You can, there's all kinds of settings there you can play with. So the next section is new section. This is where Brooke is going to put her follow-up emails that she wants to get back with people about. So she clicks on options. She clicks on more options and there is follow-up for you. Now you can also scroll down and there's a lot more. Mine says to-do list. Hers says follow up. She's going to click on follow up. There it is for you. She can change how many options or how many emails she sees in her follow up section. Then the next one is empty. If you don't put anything, it doesn't say empty, it just leaves it empty. And then the last thing is for everything else. This is stuff that you have never or that you don't need to do anything with right now. It's not pressing. Uh, and, you've but you've read it. it and it's there and it's just, you know, just kind of there. Great. So that's everything else. And press save, cha save changes. Save, save changes. changes. Whoa, that so was fast. now, oh my God, look how quick. So now everything is organized. Everything that she has not read ever. There's that July 27th email. Stop to judging me. It's there for you. And it's already in, um, in the front and above everything. And then is all her follow-up stuff. You can see that's the red label. Um, we'll show you how to change the color in just a second too, but there's a red label that says follow up and then everything else is listed below stuff that she needs, but not right now. So the next step, step three is to apply those labels to your email. So say Brooke gets an email. She's going to click on one, this one. Hey, Brooke wants to make this something that she follows up on and she wants to do. So she's going to click above the title of the email and says the word label. She clicks labels. And she can change, uh, add as many labels as she wants. This one, she only needs to put it into do, but she can also do different to-do lists. That's kind of a lot of to-do. So I think she's going to make sure that she really does this email. So now it's listed all at the top, but Brooke doesn't need all those. So she's going to press the little X next to it and it gets taken out. So y'all check this out. When I go back to my inbox, Watch. notice this Chromebooks 
email moved from the unread section into the follow up. Follow up. up. So now you're going to do it, right? Right. So we're actually going to do this today. So, yeah. Tanya, we coming from you. Hi. So now that um, she put it in there, once we go visit with Tanya, she's going to take it out of follow up by pressing the X. And when she goes back, it lists it in everything else. So she hasn't deleted it, but it's still there. And it's there ready it for you. Yes. So the last little bit of information we have for you is how I color code it. It's my favorite part. I love the colors. It helps me really stay organized. So um, on the left side, you have all of your labels. If you hover over the three dots and click it, you can change your label color to anything you want. You can even add a custom color or you can take off the color, but we're going to more what you want to do that. <gasps> I don't know. Yeah. So there's other options. You can take it out of your list. You can change the name of it. You can add a sub label to it if you really want to. All kinds of options, whatever works best for you. And that is a really speedy addition. I talked really fast. So if you didn't get that rewind and do it again, but that's a really speedy addition of Tech Tip Tuesday. And remember, you can do it. Put your tech into it. Mm. Bye, y'all. Bye.